what is up guys welcome to the tutorial on how to install the 2018 uh, season mod so I'm gonna kick things off uh, just by showing you um, that I'm working with a base game I did this in the last um, tutorial for a season mod just to show that um, how it works so what you want to do first off is um, get a clean installation of F1 2017 so what I'd normally do is um, cut the F1 2017 game that you use normally put that somewhere on your hard drive or whatever uninstall F1 in Steam um, reinstall it then you'll have uh, the base vanilla game and in this case driving this card of science uh, around Australia um, is what you're gonna need is you're gonna need uh, the base vanilla game just for this to work um, just to make sure that there's no issues and then stuff like that but we're gonna do first of all you're gonna go on to Google and um, go on race department there will be links in the description but anyone who wants to do it independently they can do so so when you go to race department click on the first link and then once you're on this beautiful beautiful little website you can go straight to download and on the left hand side you've got categories now go to F1 2017 you can see that it's there but for um, all intents and purposes go to MISC and it will be on there somewhere at this point in time it's at the top but you never know so on here we've got a few screenshots of what's included all the information that you need um, all the um, information about the crashing and stuff like that and how to fix that so what you want to hit now is hit the um, download now button and um, that will save to your computer so um, right now we're running 1.1 this was recorded um, when 1.0 was out um, so what you're going to do um, there's no difference in the update you just want to open it up um, and th with this there's two uh, text files there's information which is basically all the stuff that um, I listed there and then the link to download so it's externally hosted by Mega um, just because um, Race Department can't have um, 2.5 gigs on their website so we're going to do copy and paste that link into your browser it's going to open up here it say download now for me it says resume because I already started um, downloading this to make sure that it works so you want to hit download now and it'll take a little bit of time just to um, download because it's quite a, quite a big uh, little file so once that's downloaded you have um, a zip file on your desktop you want to open it up and you go into this and you've got all these little files uh, for the game so you've got the asset groups environmental package blah 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 blah, blah character package all that stuff so we want to do is leave this open and you're going to find your f1 directory now in most cases it's usually in c disk uh, program files steam and then so on and so forth um, obviously mine's not in here because mine's on my um, my d drive so what you want to do you want to find steam then go all the way to steam apps double click on that and then hit common then there's your F1 2017 directory so literally all you need to do for this part is just um, go back to where um, your common is and then just drag the F1 2017 on top of that I am going to speed up the um, installation just for the pure fact that it can take an incredible amount of time um, depending on your PC and everything like that so what you're going to need to do is just sit back kill some time while this installs it shouldn't take too long I think it took me about five minutes give or take depending on um, all sorts of different variables so once that's finished extracting it will um, try to um, adjust, figure out all the files on your F1 2017 directory and then it will ask you if you want to replace them once you hit yes um, again it still does take a while time again this is all sped up just because I don't feel like you guys sitting here wanting to watch this um, I'm pretty sure this little bit is in real time um, but for the most part the rest of it was just uh, sped up <clears throat> but it's not it does again it doesn't take too long um i'll talk a little bit about the crashes in a second um and stuff like that but what we're gonna do is when it happens it may get stuck on zero for a little bit just wait patiently and then it will continue so you want to open up your f1 2017 and we'll jump into the game there's no there's no um intro screen so this will be the first screen you'll be greeted with um you want to open up the game you can see it has worked because obviously all the menus have changed to the 2018 ones we're going to jump in a race um, around Italy just to show off the Italian loading screen it's probably my favorite loading screen out of all of them but we're gonna drive as Toro also again um, just for the sake of it because Pierre um, so we're gonna uh, jump into this so um, I mentioned crashing uh, very briefly at this point in time because I'm using 4k resolution for the cars um, some PCs are struggling to use this now after this video goes up I'm looking into lowering the resolution of cars to their default resolution just to make sure that everyone can use it and there shouldn't be any issues whatsoever so for the meantime the cars are in obviously ultra HD um, resolution this isn't anything 
major like the game will work and then so occasionally it will freeze and it will crash it's what's called like a light crash in the sense there's not nothing wrong with the game nothing wrong with the pc um it just because of the resolution of these cars although they look absolutely stunning like so it does require a lot of um a lot of memory and a lot of ram and a lot of all these other little gubbins that isn't necessarily handy or useful um for the most part a lot of people who have downloaded the mod um we've got over 400 coming up 500 there'll be today um there's been i'd say 10 people who have said that you know i'm having a little bit of issues like here and there um but it's nothing major to the point where they can't physically use it as far as i know and the people that have obviously come forward and spoke to me about and about the issues um the other one of the options if you look in the um description below of the um information there are ways to fix this and ways to try and help this but f until the meantime um i will lower the resolution just for the fact and i'll probably release a pack where all the cars do come in uh 4k resolution is up to you if you'd want to run that we're just going to load up the um just load up a little a uh, little file quickly just to show um that the career mode screens off and stuff like that but like i said version 1.01 version 1.1 is out now i just uploaded that before um i created this video it was just a little um issue with the career mode um but the career mode's working fine now obviously all the menus here all the little text around the information of the drivers but that's to do all there is to install it it's just a click uh, simple drag and drop and stuff like that but if you do have any issues please feel free to dm me on race department or and or twitter as to it is um a little bit easier and a little bit more personal but you can see we've got 1.299 we did manage to tick over to uh, 1.3k um during the course of yesterday but that's been it guys i hope this has helped any issues do just give me a shout and i'll do what i can to help you because obviously i want everyone to enjoy this mod it's i put a lot of effort in um and obviously i want to help people enjoy it rather than just tell you guys to bugger off but that's been it and until next time guys i'll see you then hope you enjoy it i'll see you later Bye bye